Hey everybody, it's the boss lady here coming to you from my vehicle. Just want to do a quick little vlog. Um, I got off work early today because Miss Peanut has a doctor's appointment. Uh, she is going just for her follow-up. She goes every three months to the pulmonologist and so we are um, we're scheduled to go. Actually, she was scheduled to go last um, last month, but then I messed up. I'm human. <laughs> I ended up scheduling her appointment and mama's appointment on the same day. And so, yeah, one of them had to be rescheduled and it couldn't be mama. So I just pushed Miss Peanut's appointment out, which was fine because um, she's been doing good up until this week. So with her being sick right now, that's kind of a good thing. So the doctor can see her up close and personal. And she's seen her doctor, not no, you know, random quack. So <laughs> we're good. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you to all of my subscribers who um, gave me a thumbs up and, you know, positive feedback yesterday on my DIY video. I appreciate that so much because y'all know, boss lady, say it in a minute, I don't do no crafting. <laughs> but I am learning to walk into this new era, I guess you could say, of my life. So, yes, I will stop saying that I'm not a crafter. Um, I'm just still in the beginning stages, okay? So, uh, so thank y'all. I appreciate that. Also, I wanted to say thank you to those who commented on my makeup. Um, <laughs> it just so happened that I, you know, was like full face yesterday because um, I had got some new eyeshadow from Dollar Tree. Y'all seen that in my Dollar Tree haul. And... With me getting the new eyeshadow, I happened to be, I can't remember what I was doing, um, <laughs> lady watching me vlog, but anyway, I happened to be doing something, and I said, oh, let me try that eyeshadow, so then, you know, one thing led to another, led to another, and I ended up being just full face, covered up, and, um, so I appreciate, you know, those of you who did comment, who noticed, and all of that stuff, boss man noticed too, and, uh, I was a little, I was actually going to, um, E not erase it but I was going to wash my face before he came home and then I ended up just working hard and you know with the the whole DIY video and making sure you know everything was just so and the editing and all that stuff um and excuse me for putting some lip balm on but my lips is dry uh <laughs> um I just forgot to wash my face so he came home, he saw my face, and he was like, oh, I see you got your war paint on. And I was like, what? And he said, nah, it looks really good. So I was like, oh, okay. And then, you know, you know husband and wives. But anyway, so um, so I was appreciative of that. And, you know, I, I had taken a selfie, which I don't do often. I don't do that selfie stuff too much. But I had sent it to my big sister because my big sister, she doesn't live here. She lives in California. And so she said, oh, I see you got your makeup on, girl. So it was just funny. So I just was getting love from, you know, YouTube, from family, from my husband. Yeah, it was just whatever. It was cool. So then today, boss man actually didn't see me today. He'll see me when he gets home again. Uh, but I had put my makeup on this morning and he was still really kind of sleepy. So he didn't see me. But um, I had... I was trying to get myself in a great mood. Um, I had a meeting today, and so I didn't know what I was really walking into with this meeting. So I just wanted to, you know, just kind of give my own self a little boost, you know. I've been doing this uh, motivation posting on Instagram, seem like daily now. And, you know, it's helping me as well as helping others. And, um, you know, but I still need that extra little push this morning because I knew I was going into the office. And... I just feel great so but don't y'all get used to this because look at here now boss they don't have time for all this this war paint every day now <laughs> and honestly I will be honest I only typically wear makeup when I go to church um when I have like an important meeting or if I'm going out with boss man so and I try not to wear too much when I'm going out with him because you know he don't really care for makeup like that you know he he used to date a girl who used to pancake it on. And so, you know, I just never been that girl. And he used to always, you know, talk about my natural beauty. So I just really didn't get into it. Um, like my, my sisters and stuff and my daughter. But um, every now and then, you know, boss lady can do a little something. I ain't going to, you know, make no big stink about it. But I can do a little something. Uh, that's in, So if anybody is wondering why I always mention Mary Kay, the reason why I mention Mary Kay so much 
is because, um, for first and foremost, my sister is a consultant. So, growing up with my sister being a consultant for Mary Kay, that's how I learned a lot of about skincare and you know my makeup and whatever. And then I went to a um, I don't know one of those little makeup parties or whatever for Mary Kay, and uh, the the person who did my makeup that day, the the stylist or whatever, she did such a great job that I liked what she did, so I bought exactly what she put on my face, and that I can tell you my husband approves of 100%, and so I just kind of stick with what I know, <laughs> so I don't I don't step out the box, uh, but yeah. So anyway, um, like I said, I'm waiting for Miss Peanut right now. Uh, looks like some kids are coming out, but. It doesn't seem everybody's been released just yet. But anyway, um, at my meeting, all went well. I don't know why I was stressed. But uh, the supervisor that I met with, I hadn't seen her since my friend had passed away. And so, you know, it was kind of easy for me to just kind of get back in a routine, going to work and everything. Because I wasn't seeing any of the, you know, higher ups, I guess you could say. And... Um, Right when the meeting was over, she kept calling my name, Sharon, Sharon, come here, I got something to, you know, give to you. And I'm just like, what? And so, um, she had found, I guess, I, I'm the one who cleaned out my, my friend's desk. But apparently, I didn't go through everything because she had found this little button. And it said, uh, Augie's mom on it. And I can't even show you because I put it in an envelope for her son. I put it in an envelope and I already unsealed it. But anyway, um... I said, oh, I know exactly what that means. That's her son. And, you know, she was proud that he started college and stuff. And so, because he went to Augsburg here at, at home. So, um, I said, well, let me, you know, I'll take it. I will definitely get in contact with the family. I had his number and he definitely wants the button. So, I'm going to give that button to, to him. But while I'm sitting here and I'm talking about my beautiful friend, um, I thought I lost her obituary. <laughs> Guys, I thought I lost the obituary. I was crying. Mama was going to give me hers. Yes, I, mm, big baby. And you know, when I got to the memorial, because she had two services. She had an actual funeral in Chicago, and she had a uh, memorial here in Minnesota. And so, um, at the memorial, they had the Chicago obituaries. Well, I took two. Um, yeah, I did. And <laughs> I could hear her saying, no, you did not. Yes, I did, honey. But anyway... Um, because she was just such a beautiful person. And so, I just want to show you. This was my friend. This is Rita. She was just a beautiful person. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, Rita passed away um, December 13th. She had a, a long bout with cancer. And I don't say that cancer won because she fought that cancer to the bitter end. And um, I can now speak of it without crying, even though I feel like I'm getting choked up. But uh, anyway, she was a beautiful person and she also loved makeup too. Uh, but she had, a, like I said, a, a long bout with cancer. She fought it. She had set out goals. She met every single goal that she wanted. She wanted to finish college. She was able to get her master's degree. And um, she wanted to walk her eldest daughter down the aisle. She was getting married in September, so she was able to do that. Uh, she had to walk with a walker, but she still did it. And then uh, she wanted to meet her, her first and only grandchild, and she was able to meet him as well. So, you know, she had a lot of different goals in life that she wanted to, uh, you know, accomplish. And she did it, and I'm so proud of her. And I miss her dearly. And like I said, I can say all this now without crying even though I can feel a lump forming but um so yeah so uh, she will be forever my angel one of my guardian angels watching over me and uh you know I had did a vlog actually I did a vlog and I was gonna post it but it was so sad it was so tearful and I just said I'm not sharing that on my channel because I mean I oh my goodness I cried and cried and I was just so sad and I didn't want to share that you know but um I did want to share when I was in a better place I mean granted it's only been <laughs> a month a month and a day but as time goes on, time heals all wounds. And yeah, so I mean, I still miss her. Like 
you know, today we were at the meeting and I, and I brought her up, you know, I, I miss her, but I can miss her without the tears. But now that I have to go see, I always say my other son um, or my only son, now I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm hoping that I don't cry because I don't want to cry. You know, I want to be strong for him, you know, so but that's cool. I need to go and, you know, check on the kids. I did send them some text messages through the holidays just to let them know I'm thinking of them and everything's all good. So looks like here comes my peanut butter. So I just wanted to vlog a little bit, say thank you to everybody and, you know, share a little piece about Rita and I will just see you all in a new video. Bye-bye.